they're busy, they're behind, and they're under staff. So it's gonna be a few hours. I don't know how many hours. But you. Your appointment was at eight, so I believe. So, uh, and just ten o'clock now. Right over there to the right, this is the exit, 216. Got a lot of train right there in front of us. Those are tankers. Yeah, there's a huge summit warehouse right there. I don't know if that's their main one for the whole world or just the eastern United States, but it is giant. I've been in the showroom one time with uh, when I had the Volvo. I just wanted to go see it, you know, I was like, wow, summit racing. Because I was picking up something right past it. I picked up a couple times over there by summit, but it wasn't summit, it was something else right next to it. All right, all right. It's going kind of slow. We got a green light, otherwise I'd let that guy go. Oh, 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 oh. That guy's turning into a gas station. Okay, that's why it's going slow. There's two cars like just sitting there talking to each other, blocking him from getting in there. Come on, cars. <laughs> we'll just talk to each other in the, in the driveway. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, go park. Go talk to each other outside your cars. Come on. All right, we'll take it and left in 0.2 miles. Right down past that uh, Super K, there was a bunch of uh, trucks parked on that road. I think I, up to the right side, man, come on. I think I picked up down here before uh, Blue Diamond, I believe, is right here somewhere. Let's see, we're taking the left here. It does not say no trucks. This road dumps us right down to where we need to go. To my left right there, it says United States Cold Storage. Never heard of that, but I guarantee there's probably a longer wait time for some reefers right there. All right, we'll take a left here. I'm pretty sure I saw the backside of that building that was Blue Diamond. I guess that's a high-end um, uh, dog food, cat food kind of company. Been there a couple times. Sometimes they were decent. Most time they were forever. But let's see what LG's like. I don't recognize where I'm at, so. I know I went to an electronics place over here once before, but I think it was the other side of the freeway. And it was a smaller little spot. Uh, this one, the road's gonna curve. It looks like a pretty big warehouse. We'll see. Now, GPS is taking me all the way down here for the entrance, but I'm pretty sure, it, it is this building to our right right here, but I'm pretty sure the entrance is way back there. Um, but I'm not sure. It says it's right here. There's a road to enter right here. trucks down there. Got a stop sign right here. This should be the entrance if there is a entrance. What does it say? 150. All trucks. Cool. And this is where I've been before, so I just don't recognize it. Or they just built a bunch of other warehouses around it. But this is where I have been before. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna back my truck up to the left over here because that guy's kind of just sitting there waiting. Yeah, I'm gonna back my truck up and then take a little walk. Go ahead and uh, find out where we're supposed to go. Check in on the app. Look at that, I've got a bunch of dishwashers looks like in there. Check in on the app for uh, the good old tracking and then see what we're doing. Okay, uh, backed in out of the way. That guy just moved. Woo. We are 10 minutes early. Three, one, four, four, six. That's right. Oh, there. Um, try to find a place to park, and I'm going to find them when they turn the door. Okay. Just I'm out of the way. I'm, I'm just right in front of that Volvo. Okay. All right, thanks, man. All right. check on our tire again too uh check the air pressure on that thing Oof, because if you watched yesterday's video we had that thing off the bead <laughs> no air pressure we cannot find a hole or anything that would indicate it was it took some damage so gotta keep an eye on that one all right we'll wait for our phone call Well, a whole lot of the same, guys. Uh, we got here 15 minutes before 8 before our appointment. And it's two hours later now. No phone call. No nothing. Three trucks kind of in front of me on the right side uh, past the fence. One truck just pulled out of a door and just went flying by. Like, angrily. I don't know. Bobtail just came in, which means there's a truck with no trailer. Uh, but it's two hours, so I'm going to walk up there and say... Uh, just. Just to know what, what to expect. I really wish these shippers would let guys know just when they check in, like, hey, we're way behind schedule. Hey, we'll be loading you about midnight. Hey, we'll be loading you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, any kind of information like that. Because instead of just waiting for a phone call, having the anxiety of not going to sleep because you don't know if you're going to miss your phone or, or what. Um, but that's, the, that's what trucking's always been like. I've only been in for five years, but... It is uh, frustrating to say the least. So we'll walk up there. Probably we'll get just a generic, I don't know, from the guard person. Maybe he'll give us some information. But uh, we shall see. Let's go check it out. There's another one pulling in. Okay. Oh. So we got the guy behind us that was here when we got here. And then uh, all these trucks along back in here. And then a bunch lined up over there. So <laughs> are they loading? <laughs> what are they doing? Who knows? Uh, Atlanta and trucking don't mix. How you doing, man? Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> uh, just wondering, uh, you guys short staff because I'm at an eight o'clock appointment. It's, it's ten o'clock now. Yeah, what's your driver number? Five three one four four six. I was going to yeah, green. I just checked you in like a half an hour because he was busy. They're busy. They're behind and mm -hmm. they're under staff. So it's gonna be a few hours. I don't know how many hours. But you guys just load all night. Yeah, we, we 24. 24 hours. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, your appointment was at 8, so I believe it's so not And just 10 o'clock now. Right now. So six trucks before me, like appointment wise. Yeah, but 
it depends. So I don't know in what time their appointment are in right now. I don't know if it, they are in three, four, five um, appointments. You know what I mean? Okay. After um, after that, if you, for example, three of you guys or four has appointment at eight, they're gonna start loading um, by by appointment, right? Mm. But if um, there are, I believe, five. Or Five guys picking the loads, uh -huh. and it's one guy. Uh, it's faster than the other one is gonna be finished first. Or if the load is the smallest, okay. Jules, the one arrive after you, maybe they're gonna load that one first. You know what I mean? Okay. If your load is big, they wanna. But there's six them. other trucks that are not in the door yet that are in front of me. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll, uh, all right. Well, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I couldn't tell you like exactly six. Could be like. Maybe you're next, maybe you're the end. They just call you and say, call this guy next? Yeah. yeah. All right. So for example, these two arrive just before you, and they got the door, so I don't know why. Okay. Maybe because their appointment was earlier, and, they, and the, load, the load was ready, maybe, I don't know. Okay. All right, man. So, yeah. Because it delivers at 7 in the morning, but, but I got still I, uh, Greenville. So it's only like a two-hour drive, but... You know, I don't know. Yeah, got got yeah, the clock, and st like low, still want to get some sleep. You know, before. I don't want to be sitting there waiting for a phone call. But you can sleep, and then. Um, what if you miss your phone call? Though? What if I miss the phone? But you put it on. Um, it is, but still, yeah. people sleep. You know. All right, I'll be waiting, man. Hopefully. Okay. I don't think so, though. So maybe three hours. You can sleep a little bit. Three hours? Okay. Yeah. Three, three more hours from now. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. What a joke trucking is, guys. Uh, he said two guys got here right before me. But he, <laughs> it doesn't go by appointment. It goes by who might have the smaller load or the bigger load. There's five guys picking loads. It doesn't make any sense. He, he was sitting there watching his phone for a good 10 minutes before he, he uh, like recognized I was standing there. <laughs> Maybe like five minutes, but I had to like make a noise. And he's like, oh. I'm like, yeah. I'm just hanging out here, man. Wow. <sighs> Poor trucking guys it can be a freedom filled industry but it can be a frustrating full of industry also yeah if you're gonna have appointments have people to load trucks during them seems like it makes common sense but trucking doesn't make sense sometimes all right let's try to sleep it is now midnight still no phone call been four hours we have to deliver at 7 a.m. Talk about sleep schedule. Oh, goodness. Let's get some more shut-eye. Just got the phone call four and a half hours later. Wow. Can't really sleep. And now in the middle of your sleep schedule, if you were going to try and get a decent night's sleep, you have to wake up, move, put your truck in a door, and go check in. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's go get in the door. Well, door 72, which is what we got. Right here in between these two trucks. <laughs> with the one guy parked over here waiting for his door. And the guy that just backed into his door. Kind of have to sneak between them both. <laughs> Whatever, at least we got a door. My goodness. Trying not to hit the curb. Alrighty, we are on the curb right there. Oh yeah, in the trees. <laughs> you can see oh, that guy right there, and that guy right there, <laughs> right between them. Oh yeah, it's getting 72. It's kind of cool to see our reflection in the trailer, but we need to pull up and readjust a little bit. We're a little bit too over far to the left but I don't know what all these trucks are doing. That guy just did a U-turn. He just pulled in front of me and then that guy just pulled in. I guess they're all going to their doors too now. We all got our doors at the same time. Must have, the forklift guys must have been one guy working or they were all on break like the last place we were at. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll wait for all these guys to pass. Then we'll readjust and get in our door. And they want you to put your landing gear down and I don't know if they want you to disconnect, but they said put your landing gear down. So the guy next to me is not disconnected on either side, but 
Whatever. All right, guys, I need to readjust here. So we got one more truck coming. Oh, he just stopped right there. All right, yeah, I don't, don't know. Uh, hmm, okay. <laughs> what are these guys doing? It's trucking. Oh yeah, just trucking. No, he just walked over and told this guy that uh, he's backing in here, so he needs him to move. <laughs> what the heck? I still need to, to adjust because I'm a little bit too far. I'm too far over this way. I need to move about two feet that way. And I just luckily one shotted it straight in there. But as I got to the street back, they pulled in front of me. So there we go. One second. One second. You wait right there, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just stay right there. We can't fit any more trucks back here. Whew. Please. Please, please. Is trucking worth it in 2023? No. <laughs> We're just trying to survive. Oh, the headache is not worth the, the uh, minimal um, reward. Especially if you have a breakdown. If I had to rebuild my motor or something right now, it'd be over. It'd be done. <sighs> okay. Well then, we are almost adjusted, right? He's got a big old black mark on the side of his trailer. And this guy just backing up all the way. I don't know. Don't know what he's doing. Okay, okay. This guy next to me flashed his lights at him a couple times, but he just kept moving back. All right. Okay. I'll keep moving so I can have a little room. No? Okay, cool. I do not know what's going on here, guys. This is a jungle gym out here. We're almost where we need to be. We need to move up a little bit more. There we go. I feel better about the trailer being right there. Good, good, good. Should have touchdown and T minus. Do, 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 do. Thanks for waiting for me there, Freightliner. Everybody else did not. <laughs> All right. Let's go uh, put our landing gear down and check in. Now we have to check in at door 62. 65, so other side of FedEx. Okay. Still no, oh, he's just backing into the door next to me. That's what he's doing, okay. Okay, so they just called everybody at the same time five hours after uh, our appointments. He said check in at 62. There's nobody at 62. Come on, dude. 64, maybe? Uh. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, man. Five hours after the appointment, but we're good. Uh, what, what door they put I'm you in? 72. And they just kept driving? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, give me a favor then. So you're in. Okay, so he said, uh, here, your driver's license on you? I said, yeah, you're right here. He's like, as soon as you see if it expired. I said, okay. So he's got a bunch of people in here that have like expired. Oh, that was a huge shooting star. Make a wish. I just saw a whoo, giant one. Make a wish. Um, a lot of people with expired licenses. I'm like, what? Just driving out here without a license? I don't know. Um, and he said the lights don't work for the doors are green and red. So once you start feeling yourself being loaded, 10 or 15 minutes after that come in, you'll be done. I'm like, okay, let's go. No, I didn't want to ask him like, what's going on? Why does it take so long to get into a door? But, uh, or get from your appointment. But we're just grateful to get a load going back home. You know, you've been somewhere a long time when your oil goes back to cold. 3 a.m. guys, 3.41 actually. I went to deliver at 7 a.m. Um, yeah, 
got here at 7.45 for an 8 o'clock appointment. Why I have appointments if it's going to take you 8 hours to load? Pray for the world. Pray for trucking. Pray for uh, us. So we got our paperwork. I'm loaded, 72, ready to go. So I just go in the truck? What? I just went right in the truck, sorry, I didn't tell you. Uh, the light doesn't work, so when you okay. feel that you're trying to move, you come back. All right. So I got, when I did what you just did, it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. So right. like 3 hours. So hopefully it's quicker than that. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, man. See you later. Okay, there, you too, bud. 72, yes, sir. Going to Greenville. Do you feel that boots? It's already loaded. They loaded. Really yeah, they were loading for a while and then they stopped moving it. Okay. 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 What a joke. That other guy that was you just saw right there, he got here at 7 p.m. Uh, his appointment's at 9 a.m. And, uh, yeah. So. They told us when we filmed the trailer move, and I've waited like, it's been like half an hour since the trailer stopped moving, and the paperwork's still not ready, and it's now 4 a.m. Oh yeah. How was that? You good? Yes sir. Yeah. Your seals. You have to put the seals by yourself okay. because there's no barring in the seal. How come there's two seals? Yes, in both sides. Oh, both sides? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. It's got to be a record for some of the most paperwork. As you saw him like, flipping it back and forth, I had to sign just the first four pages. Got two seals, as you saw. And GPS is telling me if I was no traffic, going there, leaving right now at 4 o'clock, which is now 4.15. Uh, it's two hours and 45, 49 minutes to get there. What in the world's going on? I, uh, it's crazy. Just grateful to get a load going back home, but it, it's 4.15 in the morning. We got here at 7.45. Let's seal it up. Let's get going. My biggest thing now is just trying to get out of Atlanta uh, before traffic gets too bad. It's 4 4.20 now. Both doors are sealed. I've never done that in my life where I've sealed left and right, <clears throat> but they are sealed. Uh, no one's at the gate, so you just roll on out and yeah, it's just probably we can get out of uh, get to the outskirts of Atlanta, but in, well, it should be about 5.30 by then, I hope. And hopefully traffic's not too bad. And just pray for the best, but my goodness, guys. I had a, a string of uh, craziness. And that guy that was in there talking before us, I feel bad for him, he's delivering even further than we're going in South Carolina at nine o'clock and he just got checked in. So he just got a phone call. And when we got checked in, it took another three hours after that till we uh, got our paperwork. Yeah, pray for trucking, a couple of trash bags out there, okay. But then he said that um, the company he works with, they had like three more of these loads and nobody took them. I guess they have uh, learned a lesson from experience from LG and McDonough, Georgia. That's where I'm at, McDonough, Georgia, LG Electronics. Um, well, I have appointments if you're not going to load till eight hours after. I don't know. I'll just tell people that. The guy's on his phone didn't even notice that I was like talking to him. Um, say, hey, we're 
extremely unstaffed or extremely unorganized or both and uh, we don't load for eight hours <laughs> let us know that we'll just go to sleep and <laughs> give us some budget I don't know it's just crazy the difference of of people and, and in places like this is on the naughty list again for definitely shippers receivers but I've been here before and it was not that bad it was two hours not not now though um, and then compared to the vitamins that we have loaded that was like a 15 minute load and paperwork was in 30 seconds then we go to drop it off and it's six hours so crazy all right I'm done rambling about it let's get out of Atlanta and uh, pray for the best tomorrow or today I'm sorry it's 4 30 in the morning there on the right that's Summit Racing big old warehouse we have a green arrow. Is it going to stay green? I don't know. Nope, just turned yellow. We'll wait for uh, these cars to go. But yeah, it's a pretty cool place. I'd like to stop in there again, but not today. We have, uh, there's, we're not even set up for success already. We're going to be late just according to distance. But I know where we're going. They are pretty good about unloading. That's where I took, uh, you can go ahead and go, cars. Take me a second. There you go. I took Kyle in there one time. I think we were, I think we were dropping off, I don't know, no, we were picking up, we were taking like damaged appliances to Atlanta, outside of Atlanta, so this time we're delivering, remember we had, I remember we had to count each one, had to go in there and like physically um, make sure that each SKU or, or serial number or whatever was on the manifest, so, and then that load was a nightmare, afterwards I kept getting emails like every other day about the, all these different people that wanted the, um, paperwork and I was like I've sent this like five times guys <laughs> sent to my factory company sent it to you guys sent it to this guy texted to this person and they were all like I don't know someone else the next day would be I need this I'm like oh my goodness so uh yeah then finally they stopped asking me over and over again for the paperwork but oh yeah okay we're back on 75 this road will take you all the way down to Tampa all the way down to Fort, uh, Fort Myers select trucks Schneider truck on the side just getting some sleep where you can uh, that's the thing that, that people don't realize it's a sleep schedule is probably one of the biggest problems out here especially if you're all consistently over the road all the time running 600 700 miles a day or, or as much as you can and then uh, having a shipper mess up everything like that if you're on a tight schedule and had another load leaving out after and they just took eight hours when they were supposed to be uh, eight o'clock appointment at night and it's 4 40 in the morning now uh, yeah just ruins everything wrecks your whole gathering of loads you might have had lined up but I'm not that's, it, it, it was like this when, when the uh, pandemic started for a little bit because nobody was working but what's our excuse now just bad at organization like I thought we we're supposed to be getting better in AI and all these different uh, coordination efforts doesn't seem like it <laughs> so I don't know maybe robots will do it better or why well, have all that paperwork also like how come so digitized these days to have so many uh, carbon copies like that. <laughs> I don't get it. Whatever. This poor guy's broke down. He's got his triangles out. We'll give him some room. Uh, it's an Amazon trailer too. So maybe uh, the Amazon's pretty pretty good about getting it called repowered. They'll get somebody else to come out and uh, take over that load for me if you can. And sometimes if you have an air problem you can't get your truck out from underneath the trailer unless you air it back up. But if you have a compressor problem or something goes out and you lose air you can't move that truck uh you're gonna have to get a tow truck or somebody to fill your tanks of air and manually pull you out stuff like that all right let's let's pray for good uh free flow of traffic we made it up to 675 connecting back to 285 it's smooth sailing the map looks great but i mean there's no red there's no yellow praying for the same and we have refrigerators back there and i have kind of an epiphany kind of a thought process of why maybe that they do this maybe they know how long it's going to take you to drive it's a three hour drive two hours and 50 minutes and that's exactly the amount of time they gave us to like leave and go straight to the delivery because um they used to say loads like this or tvs high ticket uh what is that what trailer with this back open um high ticket items they used to say you had to drive like 150 miles without stopping from leaving the facility and the whole two two seals on the back thing too i mean that's kind of actually a giveaway of if there was what my son calls bandits my youngest son kylan that's uh, people that are trying to steal 
Um, that would be a dead giveaway that this trailer is loaded with some appliances. <laughs> they have two seals on there, but uh, you know, here, no, there. I don't think there's really that kind of fast and furious Dominic Toretto, uh, Ryan O'Connor with Honda Civics with spoon motors coming after you in the dead of the night to grab some DVD players. But um, if that is what they're doing, then why set the appointments at 8 o'clock and then load you at 4 o'clock in the morning and just leave you enough time to get to the 7 a.m. appointment? Um, maybe they want you just to never stop, just drive all the way there because they've had stuff get stolen. I don't know. That's kind of a weird little uh, little theory there, but either way, grateful for this highway being wide open, and it's pretty much the only time of the night from 2.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the morning that you might have a little bit of uh, uncongested traffic in Atlanta. But we're grateful for that. Let's go. Nice piece of military equipment right there on the RGN. Oh yeah. We're back on 285. Okay. That guy's going about 80 miles an hour because I'm pushing 75 and he's still pulling away from me. We got some brake lights up here, so oh no. Alright, that guy on the RGN is pushing it. Moving. Cannot complain. Uh smooth sail all the way back to 85 so we're almost heading out of Atlanta we make this right turn up here and home stretch to Atlanta we're 140 miles from the drop and we'll still be there about 15 minutes late if we had no hiccups at all and traffic was perfect the whole way so probably gonna have a little bit of traffic coming into Greenville all right here's that right turn over a hill, down a hill. Oh yeah, and then it merges into one real, real quick after this. Right lane ends. Don't come flying off of this thing. There's 85, home sweet home. 140 miles this way. Atlanta, I wish I could say it's been fun. But at least your traffic let me, let me leave uh, peacefully. Let's turn a burn. Look underneath this back right tire. Got some bad sparks coming down under there. I don't think it's a tire. I think it's just uh, some caught street sweeper. So Got a lot of sparks down there. But it says a piece of something caught. Uh, don't want that flipping up and hitting us in the face. So maybe he just has that thing. Bristles are metal, I'm not sure. Maybe those bristles are just dragging a little bit. But yeah, 85 is rolling. This is the time of uh, morning to be heading where you're going to go in Atlanta. Because in about an hour, this will not be so open. Back through the weight in motion, coming out of Georgia. Almost back to South Carolina. They are not open yet. It is almost 6 a.m. We're almost right on the dot, 6 a.m. But they're just signs on uh, bypass. They probably will. I'm, I've had them open that early before. I don't know. Maybe it's a typical uh, 7 or 8 a.m. start for them, though. Getting their coffee going and getting ready for Friday. Uh, it's a huge blessing to be. I uh, thank God every day for letting us have a load, letting us at least make some money in this hard truck market, this hard economy, this hard world times. But um, it's frustrating as heck when you're deprived of sleep or yeah, your anxiety is making you hope you don't miss a phone call and wonder if the phone number's written down correctly, that kind of stuff. So just always one eye open thinking about and then checking back in. So I, every two hours I checked in for eight hours and yeah, we finally got it done. But this guy gonna get speed up the hill or we got to go past him? I think he's I think he's gaining speed, but we've got more speed, so we're going left lane. Okay. Only about five miles left of Georgia, back into South Carolina. South Carolina way station, uh, also closed. So we are cruising. We're in South Carolina, about 10 miles in, almost to our lake property and then we'll cross over that lake and we'll have about 40 miles and go 
straight to the delivery because we will be about 15 minutes late and we will not be able to stop once. Huh. Oh, goodness. All right, all right. Truck with his blinkers on up there's hazards. 
And that's where we're going, up to the right. It kind of drops down. I did a drone aerial shot a couple weeks ago with uh, little Colin, my youngest. He loves drones. Don't know why. Just has a fascination for flying little things. Here we go. All right, we got a JB Hunt, that extra. It's all the same, um, but if you walk all the way down there um, where that JB Hunt is, it's a... Uh, it says Home Depot in there once you walk in. So I'm gonna set myself up for a nice back and turn to the right and get out of the way with that old Landstar trailer. I think that guy was actually at the uh, at the um, pickup where I was. All right, so let's not block in this guy. And then just, there's an old third gen Camaro down there. Look at that thing. It's the same color as the IROC that we have, but he's got a uh, Trans Am wheels on his. All right, let's back it up a little bit, Terry. So we, um, it's got an IROC hood. It is an IROC, yeah, it's got an IROC written on the side. 80, 86 maybe, 87, it's got the red pinstripe. All right, let's stop jamming. Let's go talk to some people. Get out of the way of this guy. I really don't get it. Why so many papers? <laughs> if I have to sign each one of those, oh my goodness. I had to sign four of them with like all kinds of information. Seal number, driver's license number, print your name, sign your name, date. Ah, stretch it out. Ah, check that tire. Again, before we left, it's still sitting at 95 PSI. So It is cold out here. Not as bad as this where you guys are some places in the, in the north, but uh, definitely cold. And I recommend... If you're an Apple guy, get some of these earbuds. They're way better than those, uh, all those um, my headpieces that they have. That they, I had one for like the first couple months, but it was just wasn't for me. But these are awesome because you can talk into them and pick up the mic, and uh, they're really good for hearing. I just put one in because I like to be able to hear the world also, and I'll switch back and forth between them when they die. All right, let's go see who we're talking to. Truck says El Gallo on the side. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that truck was where I was getting uh, loaded. I know, right? <laughs> Forge papers. I don't know why they give you so many. Yeah. Well, it's for all the customers. Okay. Oh, it's a bunch of different customers? Like personal uh, special orders, kind of? Okay. Okay. So that would come in in the afternoon instead of 7 o'clock. Yeah, they, I got there at 7 45 last night. I didn't leave till 4 30 in the morning. Crazy. <laughs> Eight, okay, cool, thank you. Excuse me, sorry. Thank you. So they're trying to translate for that guy. I don't know if he's a driver or not, but they were trying to say something. But we're going to door eight after this guy's out of here, which is awesome. He said, um, they're finally getting their, their LG trucks. He said they would get close to three of them a day, and they'd maybe be one every now and then. So uh, stick to your guns, guys. Get these loads moved when you can. Um, we got 650 on this. They were listed it for 550. Even though we're probably not going to get four hours of detention. Um, I wish we would. I wish we would, but it's not the way of the world these days. Uh, these brokers know that, that all these guys are bidding themselves to the bottom. So they uh, take everything they can, and they're not going to give you any of that back. All right. It's cold. Let's get our doors open, get both of our seals off. And uh, he was in good spirits. Get us off the truck. Door eight. And I guess there's so many of those sheets because those are all, like, personal um, special orders. Like, when you when we went and bought our last washer and dryer, we had to wait also. Like, I think they have them sent to the warehouse and tell people to order them, and then they ship them out. So that's what they're doing with these uh, LG products. All right, let's get this... Uh, Got some snips, I'm gonna cut those seals, get my doors open, and wait till eight. I'm glad we stayed in that guy's way because he just pulled out from right here. Okay, doors open, let's wait. Just got all of our carbon copies, and uh, what time is it? Oh, it's 9.40, oh man. 
So 7 a.m. appointment, got here about 7.25, just over two hours. I'll take that over eight hours any day though. So nothing looking uh, like promising on Truck Smarter, but um, I was just resting right now. I, I looked at about 8.15, 8.20 in the morning. So a little hour nap in there and uh, see what else we got. Let's get out of here so he can get in there nice and easy. Well, look who it is. She's going to get me so I don't have to walk. Oh, thank you, T-Dubs. And I just got done factoring my load with Truck Smarter. Hi, beautiful girl. Hi. What are you doing today? Uh, uh, you're doing some shopping? Mm -hmm. Oh. And look, I'm on a mission to buy a fish. Oh, oh shit. shit. You going to have a video on that? Yeah. Oh, goodness. All right, let me get this thing locked up. You going to go home and take it? Oh, so the white propeller was missing. He found it today in uh, Murphy's mouth. Murphy was eating it. Oh, uh, you got some jeans? Yeah. You don't like them? Well, they're too, they're too big. Oh, uh, because you're size. a little small, small thing. <laughs> no. All right, I'm, okay, Tiki, I'm coming to say hi. Tiki, Tiki. Tiki, Tiki. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. There's my bag. You can sniff that all you want. All right. We have our Tiki Tiki back. We're giving him loves. And uh, the elephant and shelf move. I don't know where he went, but he's somewhere around here. We will look for loads a little bit, but I just got to get a couple hours of sleep. It was a rough eight hour anxiety waiting to see um, if, when, when and where they're going to load us. So and then we got unloaded pretty good today. So take a little nap, see what the loads look like later. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going to get a kiss. A kiss? <laughs> yeah. a, a Tiki kiss? No. I guess I can get my other uh, two. Got a really good nap, feel refreshed. Um, t is out shopping uh, for some more little tiny things here and there. So I'm gonna go meet her for lunch because uh, lonely at the house. Uh, Gigi has Colin, the boys don't get out of school for two hours. So we will meet up with her, have some lunch. Uh, but look at the load boards, but they're gone. It's, it's kind of the ghost town before Christmas now. The closest load, there's a couple in uh, Greenville, but they're like the ones that go to Mexico or Canada. Been there for two years. Just trying to see if somebody's trying to go home or something. Um, but there's nothing like after that, that head starts to shoot out to Charlotte and Athens, Georgia and stuff. So we'll see if something pops. I'll be looking through it while I'm hanging with T-Dubs. But it looks like Friday's going to be a no-go. There is a couple of Uber coming back from uh, like water loads and stuff for the weekend. But maybe we'll just hang out. Uh, boys have school Monday and then they're out Tuesday. This is Mark right here. He's hitting out back also. There we go. And I have to go shopping with T-Dubs, guys. I parked like an idiot. I'm sorry. I barely got in this thing. Hey, it's okay. Of course you take pictures of it. Does this truck make me look bad? Never. But guys. A car that had all the skulls on it. It's actually hand airbrushed, too. It's yeah, It's painted. Thank you. See, it does have. I told you it did Little steps. Yeah, so you got to have them. <laughs> so we have to uh, call it Uber Freight again, guys. I could have had a load to Albany, Georgia. Um, picking up right here in Gray Court, going over there, but they, the AI will not even respond to, and they actually lowered the price from 9.45 to 9.35. Go figure. All right, well, nice to meet you today, Mark. He's awesome. He's like, hey, man, Simpsonville trucker. I'm like, cool, man. You know what's funny is he told me he goes, I think I, he saw me with the boys, and I think I remember him, yeah. So he never met me, so but I've he met, met you. Before, awesome. Yeah, nice to meet you today, Mark. Uh, enjoy Outback, man. We sure did. <clears throat> All right, let's do some shopping, and then um, I guess we we'll just keep looking for the weekend for a load, guys. Well, guys, pray for me. This is what T-Dubs enjoys doing. Because I need you to want to buy me Why can't you pick out your own stuff? I got to come with you? Yeah. Uh, but on that note, guys, God bless you. AI ruins the day again. And we will see you on the next one. Bye. One more thing, guys. While well, T-Dub is in the uh, uh, dressing room, Uber came back a half an hour after the deadline for the appointment with their AI to tell me that, because uh, I just bid a 1000 to see if they would even bite on it, like to start re-counteroffering, um, but to never counteroffer. They said, yeah, you got the load. It's 4.30. They stopped shipping at 4. Come on, AI. Let's do better. All right, well, I hate shopping, but I'm here for T-Dubs, and she's trying some stuff home. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one. Beautiful sunset. T-Dubs is beautifully happy. We came to get some clothes, and we ended up with a candy machine. And a tree. 
Well, we got two of those because they're going to fight over it. I got a sweater. Oh, good. You got one thing? One thing. All right. <laughs> Do, there you go. Do better, Uber Freight. Ah, beautiful sunset. That is officially the end of the video. God bless you guys.